I'm going to make a lot of enemies with this video. <laughs> This video is going to gain me a lot of hatred and a lot of enemies. That is not my intention, but <clears throat> this is very polarizing topic and very controversial and like abortion, feminism, vegetarianism, being vegan, you know, it goes along those lines. Uh, you're either on one side of the fence or the other. And I know I've spoken out about this before but I deleted all my bitchy bitchy videos and so I'm going to make this again and try to word myself a little bit better so that I offend people less if that's at all possible because my intention is not to offend anyone it is just to give my argument my my opinion my side of course the topic is breastfeeding breastfeeding in public uh I I don't agree with breastfeeding in public. Um, and before I start my argument, let me just state that I am a mother. And, you know, obviously being a mother, I've gone through the whole nurturing my child, wanting to be with my child, feeding my child, wanting the bonding with my child. I had actually looked up breastfeeding when I was pregnant, uh, did a lot of research on it. And it was my intention to breastfeed my son, but he was lactose intolerant and it never worked. So I didn't get to experience that with him. I had everything all planned out. Even if I was going to breastfeed, I would have pumped the milk out and taken it in bottles when we were in public. I wouldn't have just popped my tit out in public. So, you know, uh, establish some sort of boundary, I guess. Like, you know, you're at home. That's bonding time. You're in public. You're obviously in public to do stuff. You get your shit done, you go home, whatever, your kid's hungry, pop them a bottle, you know. Although, I must say that I do know breastfeeding is extremely healthy for the baby. It is obviously the healthiest thing. That's what breasts are made for. And breastfeeding is a way to bond with your child. It is, it is the best thing that you can do for your kid. I do agree with that. Do I agree that babies should have a blanket smothering their face when they're eating? No. Do I agree that mothers should be feeding their kids in the toilet? No, that's disgusting. What I do think is that if you're gonna breastfeed in public, you should do it discreetly. You know, think about the fact that there are other people around you that might not want to see it. I don't care how natural it is. If I have to pee or take a shit, I'm not gonna take a shit in public just because it's natural. It's a natural body function that, you know, unlike breastfeeding, which only women can do, Men and women both shit. Men and women both vomit. Men and women both piss. And it's not something that anybody wants to see. The same with the whole free the nipple thing just because guys can do it. You know what? In this day and age, breasts are extremely sexual. They are only seen sexually. So if you're going to go out and you're going to be like, my tits, my business, this is feeding my kid. I don't care what you say. You're not going to change society's views on breasts you're just not and you're a fool if you think you are you know your intentions might be good but you know what it is not going to happen like that and if you want to do your so-called bonding with your kid then it shouldn't matter if everybody around you knows that you breastfeed it should be between you and your kid so what does it matter if you're maybe in a booth somewhere or you know you're at a table and you just kind of maybe have a one of those padded nursing bras on and you just lower the flap a little and if you're going to burp your kid or something, you know, do it back up. Don't just let your fucking titty hang out and be like, oh, well, I'm feeding my kid. It's natural. You know how many guys get off to breastfeeding, right? You know how many guys get off to tits. Swollen, big, full, pregnant tits. Hard, big nipples that have been sucked on by babies. Guys love that shit. Go to any porn site and you'll see... Guys, guys even get hot for pregnant chicks, you know? I mean, it's a fetish. Everything's a fetish. But do you really want to risk being out in public, breastfeeding your kid, and potentially having some pervert sitting there like, oh, I see areola, oh, I see nipple, oh, I'm going to jerk off to that later, you know? You're feeding your kid, and then somebody in the next table is just like, 
groping themselves under the table or even filming you because you know they do that now. They film you secretly and they post it without your knowledge on these porn sites. You have no idea who's watching you at any moment of any day. And is it really worth it to be doing this shit in public where you're putting your, your kid at jeopardy? in jeopardy? I really don't think so. So that's why I say be discreet. Be discreet and above all else. God damn, stop shoving it in people's faces. You don't want someone judging you. You don't want someone taking the special moment between you and your kid and turning it into something evil, ugly, dirty, perverted. It's supposed to be bonding between you and your child. So some kids don't take the bottle. I understand that. Sometimes they just don't or they won't. They don't want to. And you have no choice but to breastfeed. If your kid's hungry, you're going to feed them. Yeah. You know what? You can do it. But just be discreet about it. So many women like with the free the nipple thing. Feminism, all that shit. You do more harm than good when you shove it in people's face trying to make your point. That's where people go wrong. You know, if you were just like, I'm doing this for my, my kid and I'm going to breastfeed. I'm going to do it quietly in the corner. Like if you're sitting there eating a meal, you're not going to be like everybody in the restaurant. Look, I've ordered a meal. I am going to eat it now because I have a mouth. I have money and I'm allowed to eat. So I don't care if you're in a diet or you're anorexic. I'm going to fucking eat and I don't give a shit what you say or what you think about it. You wouldn't do that, right? You would just kind of sit down quietly, go about your business and you'd eat your food. So why do people feel the need to post pictures of their fucking tits out all the time? Look at me. I'm a breastfeeding mother. Look at my titty. You know, no, you're, you're fucking up your case. You're not making it about the kid. You're making it about yourself. You're, you're trying to make yourself seem cooler by, I can do this and I can do that. And it's my body. Well, what about girls? Like I have cleavage showing, you know? There's a video going around right now where apparently they have one girl dressed like a whore and then one girl um, breastfeeding. Now, this breastfeeding mother's covered up a lot more than the chicks I've seen. And they're like, oh, that's nasty. That's gross. And they're abusing her for it. And they're not saying anything to the other chick. And they're like, well, why don't you say anything to her? Because her, her boobs are out. But you know what? Her nipples are covered. She's wearing something kind of like this. Maybe like more of a tank top. This is just like, you know, a dress. But you know, her nipples are covered. And if she moves her hand away, you're not going to suddenly see her nipples. It's not the same thing. You know, breasts are sexual, whether you like it or not. I hate that they are, but they are. And there are so, so many girls that claim to be breastfeeding because they're good mothers. But they can't do it quietly. They always have to throw it in your face on any breastfeeding post. It's like, oh, woman gets yelled at for breastfeeding. Oh, I breastfeed too. And then cue a thousand posts of nothing but fucking tits. And it's like, we don't need to see that, you know? Why do you feel the need to tell the world? I think that people would be a lot more accepting of certain things if you quietly made your case without raping people with it. We all know breasts are made for babies. They're not made for men to suck on. They're made for babies to suck on. We all know you should have a right to feed your kid wherever you want. We all know that your kid has a right to eat without being stuck in a bathroom, without being stuck with a cloth over its head. But other people around you also have the right to eat and live in peace without having to see your nipples in their faces. Some people are prudes. Your bonding time with your kid should be between you and your kid. You should not want to allow other people to interfere, whether by judging you because you're just throwing it in their face or by checking you out. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just, just do it. If it's really natural, do it as nature intended or whatever. Don't walk around and be like, woohoo, I'm breastfeeding. I'm best mother ever, mother of the year. Picture, 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 picture. And, um, oh, baby's mouth isn't really on my tit, but here's my tit anyway. Oh, picture, picture, picture. I'm just going to stick my tits out here. Tell me how big and nice my titties are. Yes, I know plenty of girls that do that. They make all the pictures about themselves and their boobs and, oh, how big their boobs are. And, oh, on the wayside, by the way, I also feed my kid. You know, no. So, I, I, that's my stance. I don't agree with breastfeeding. I don't agree with breastfeeding in public. I mean, in public when you make a big deal out of it. I, I do see 
all the pros of it. You know, like I said, I am a mother and it was something I was going to do, but I don't see the whole shoving it in somebody's face and making it a point to tell them that you're allowed to just because you're tits, you have tits and you're a mom. We all know this. They don't have a right to come up to you either and be like, ew, you're disgusting. If you're minding your own business, you're not making a big deal of it. You're just quietly at your table and they come up to you and harass you. They don't have a right to do that. I think that's really fucked up. But at the same time, those of you that make it a point to brag, you're just obnoxious and yeah, I'm, I don't like you. <laughs> and yeah, just stop acting like you're queen of the fucking world because you have a set of tits. You know what? You're basically human cattle. You produce milk like an animal. Animals do it. Every female does it. What makes you so special? You're not special. It's nature. They're made for that. Yeah, you can do it. But you know what? Shut the fuck up about it because lots of people are tired of hearing it. I'm so sick of seeing fucking fat, veiny tits on my news feed. Look at my teddy. I'm breastfeeding. Oh my God. Just stop already. Just do it silently and just stop making it a point to make sure everybody knows. We know. We got it. You can just kind of stop now. I am very sorry if I've offended you guys. I really am. I, I am trying to see both sides of the picture here. I hope I made a valid argument. Got a little bit opinionated in there, but, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to offer some helpful advice, maybe in not the most helpful way, because I'm not too good at that. I'm really sorry. I expect a shit ton of dislikes on this video and a shit ton of people saying, God, you are a fucking ignorant bitch. And probably lots of links and photos of tits, because that's what happens, because you got to make your point somehow. But this is what this whole video is about. Got to make your point somehow. So if somebody says something you don't like, out come the tits. But I wouldn't be half against half the shit I am against if it wasn't for people trying to shove it down my face. I don't know if anybody else agrees with me about that, but, you know... Um, it is your body. It is your right. Don't make a federal case out of it. That's basically it in a nutshell. My video in a nutshell. And don't put your kids in jeopardy. Yeah. So uh, that's about all I have to say. Again, I apologize profusely because I know I would have worded this wrong. I know I would have pissed a lot of people off. And I know a lot of people will be thinking that I am a massive bitch. And I probably don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. I'm not really a bitch anymore. There's no real easy way to say this. I mean, if somebody goes against your views, you're going to see it as bitchy and wrong no matter how they say it. So I figured, well, I might as well say it in the easiest way there is to say it for me. So I did. And yeah, so I hope you guys understood where I'm coming from and you're not too mad at me. It's not like I could lose many subscribers because I don't really have any anymore, but that's fine. This is my soapbox, and I get to vent and rant, and if you want to watch it, you can, and if you don't want to, you don't have to, so I'm doing it on my channel. I don't go to your pages, and I don't go to your space and be like, it's me, and I have a mouth, and I have a right to talk, so I'm going to talk, and you're going to fucking listen, because I don't do that. Never have done that. You come to me, and you listen to what I say, or you don't. Uh, I don't verbally rape anybody. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope that you're still around <laughs> or not, but I hope you guys have a great day and I'm sorry for, you know, going off topic and bitching and I will see you guys soon. Don't know when I will upload this. Might be too scared to upload it. I really don't want to be seen in the same light I was seen in before when I was actually being bitchy. Uh, I just don't know. There's no other way to remake this video. It's the kind of thing that you just kind of go with the flow. So I might go with the flow and just upload it. And I might decide not to. We'll see if you see it. And if not, I don't know, fucking know. And I'll see you guys shortly. Bye-bye.